Okay. Hello, everyone. Brett Gurney here. We're back for another another edition. You know, we've been uh, we've been doing this little series here. Let me just adjust this a little bit. Okay. Yeah, we've we've been doing this little series here called blog creation. Um, for those uh, for those of you who might be just getting started doing a blog or thinking about it or you know are, are, are into it and, and moving along but you know for whatever reason you want to kind of see what we're doing uh, we're, we're doing this little series here of blog creation and just taking you all through the process that we went through um, leading up to where we are today so I'm kind of uh, have backed up a little bit in fact I I uh, will be looking at June here. The last one I did was for the post that we did in, in the month of May and what we were talking about the month of May. And now, uh, and this will go quickly. We will we'll get catch we'll get caught up really we really fast here. We're we're gonna so we're gonna look at what we did in, in June. But I just want you to know that um, for those of you who want to get a little bit more involved and need some more direction with the kind of technical know-how stuff, we're gonna do a how-to series so that you'll be able to look at the screen as we um, go through the entire process of how to I mean everything from the beginning how how beginning with how to, to get your own domain how to get your own hosting company how to install the blog how to set up the blog how to turn it on how to start posting and then how to customize the blog um, and then into right into how to drive traffic to the blog, how to put a sales funnel on the blog. We're going to cover all that stuff. Okay, so stay tuned with us for sure. Right now, I just want to hop over here. I'm looking at my screen here. Let's see. I'm looking at June. I see that we we did three posts in June. The first one's called "Inserting Images into Posts and Pages." I'm going to read the first paragraph to you to kind of um, get me going a little bit and refresh my memory. Adding says adding images to your post is easy just place your cursor where you want the image to go and click on the add media button this can be mid-sentence and you can easily change the size of the image you can put on a line uh, on a line by itself let me open this you can select for it to go on the left or on the right or on a line by itself in other words you can put the image wherever you want it says you can also caption the image, image with whatever info you want. Okay, let me just stop here for a second and add that as you're when you get into this, when as you start learning about images, it's important you're going to want to learn this. It's important to do your images correctly, okay, because the search engine spider uh, and and look for the images, and that's what helps you get ranked on the search engine so when somebody goes and and is looking for something you're more liable to um, come up okay um, so in other words you, you will and you always have a place to do this it's, it's simple but you will you first of all you're going to have a, um, a set of a, a keyword a, a main keyword for that for that post and then the images that you apply to that post are going to match that and you're going to do that simply by giving the image a title and the title is going to match your keyword and then uh, giving the image a description with the keyword in it and there's one more called alternate text which is really is the one that the search engine spiders the robots or whatever you want to call them go out online and pick up so you you're going to want to have a, the keyword uh, in it as well and this will help you tremendously in people finding your blog posts and finding you uh, on the internet so we're going to cover images and we'll have tutorials on that uh, so let me go to the next post second one for June I see that there's only three posts for June so again we're, we're just kind of chugging along really slowly here because we didn't know really what we were doing you know once again we were going the slow slow route um, but because we were learning as we go and we had to read and study and do and, and read and study and do and you know so on the next post customizing your WordPress blog with themes you, your theme is simply you the skin of the 
the blog, okay, the look, the feel, um, the story. Uh, this is something that you're going to want to, you, that you'll probably change more than once as you get into it and learn more about it. We started with the basic um, theme that comes with WordPress, which is probably what you'll do too. But now, since then, we've gone on to a, a purchasing a custom theme that is just what it says. It's more customizable, and, and it's something that you'll want to do when you start installing um the uh, the sales funnel and and things of that nature so back to the post customizing your your WordPress blog with themes okay so it didn't take me long to figure out that I was not going to get the look I wanted with only plugs plugins widgets and sidebars which is what I was trying to do with the the basic um, theme it's a good place to start but um, you know we, we wanted to, to get more into it than that it goes on to say, I've learned one of the things that makes WordPress so popular is how customizable it is. And custom themes are definitely the way to go. Make your site. Give me a second here. i got to open the post. Make your site. Where am I here? Make your site look nice and professional with just a few clicks. As you will see, there is no limit to what type of design you can have. Change among the long list. Okay, it just goes on. And then it, the, the rest of the post just goes on to list some things that you can do as far as the theme and the setup with uh, uh, multiple menus widget sidebars which is something that you'll be dealing doing with and and hearing and learning a lot about talks about mobile support so that people can see your blog post on their phone frequent or automatic updates it just kind of goes over you know how often how frequently um you know you want to post on your blog and and things like that so um on to the next post, and this is titled Jetpack Multifunction Plugin. Let's try it out. Jetpack is a plugin that I that I found that that I was. It's an awesome plugin, and it actually comes from or is attached to WordPress.com, which is WordPress's. I mean, they're all free, but it's their free um, version that they host. That's the big difference. WordPress.org, which is what we're doing, which, which is what you're going to want to do if you're going to be serious about this, is one that you host, okay, uh, because you want to build your list, not someone else's. Um, WordPress.com is, is one that, that, um, that, that they host, and it's, it's not, you don't have as much control over it. It's, it's not as customizable. You can't do nearly with it what, what you can. So instead of building... Once again, like we've all been doing for so long, instead of building somebody else's company or list or platform or whatever, you know, like blogger.com or wordpress.com or what have you, okay, we're going to now start building our own, okay, uh, and we're going to host it, okay, and we're going to build our list and everything that we do, we will, we will own, okay. Um, so it just goes on to say, greetings, friends, hoping everyone's having a great month of June and that it's all well with you. We've been seeing and learning a lot about this Jetpack plugin. It actually originated with WordPress.com. I just talked about that. Um, and, and, and in fact, you have to open a WordPress.com account first. Super simple. I don't want to go into any more of that. You know, it's a great plugin. It makes everything really easy to do as far as you know you it's easier to put videos on the post it's it's easier to uh, put the the images uh, and the sidebars are more customizable more functional um, you can it's really easy to, to put on um, you know there's, there's different widgets what they call widgets which are just point and click and slide and put it on your sidebar or whatever uh, to add your your Facebook buttons, your sharing capabilities so that you're connected and so that if you want, when you place a post, it'll automatically go to your Facebook timeline or whatever. Just um, it's, it takes it to the next level, so to speak. So it's a, a great plugin. Okay, so that's kind of it for, for June. We're going to move on to July in the next video. I do want to say one more thing. Um, I, I mentioned we're going to do a how-to series. Um, if you want to follow the videos, just go to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Brett Gurney, I guess it is. Yeah, <laughs> I put my name on everything, and I'm pretty easy to find because of that. Um, again, branding yourself and your brand on, on the Internet. Um, and I encourage you to go to my blog, brettgurney.com, and while you're there, get the um, 
uh, the, the, the freebie, the bonus, free bonus there, including a free consultation. You'll see it there. It's plain as can be. Um, the, uh, the, the, the first how-to we're going to talk about coming up soon is how, you know, how to get your own domain. If you, if you don't have a domain yet and if you're trying to do something, trying to make something happen on the Internet, online, and if you're out there on Facebook or whatever, and if you're just dropping, first of all, if you're just dropping links and saying, you know, here's my link, join my deal, or here's my link, buy my stuff, and that's all that you're doing, you need to kind of think about stopping that, getting away from that. You know, nobody's going to become um, an attraction marketer literally overnight where people are flocking to you to want to work with you. That's the, that, that's the, the goal. That's the end result, and that will happen if you stick with it. But it's not something that happens overnight. You know, don't let people make you think that. Um, it's a progression, okay? But it's something that you can work to. So you don't want to ever stop prospecting whatever for whatever it is that you're, you're building, but you want to kind of shift over to starting to promote yourself more and adding more value and helping others build their business because you know that everybody has, they're already doing something, and if you offer them help, show them how they can um, help themselves along and, and, and build to build their company or, or, or whatever, education, uh, educational marketing. Uh, and, it, and it kind of begins with getting your own domain name and that can be that'll be whatever you want it to be it can match your theme or your niche market whether it's whether you're involved with health and wellness or skin care or travel or you know telecommunications phones uh, you know all the things that are out there whatever it is or you can brand it specifically to you um, and, and, and have it be your name or a variation of or join you know and then your name or something like that something to so you want to establish an identity you want to establish a presence online and you want to make let people know that you're serious about what you're doing and that's the first step is is um, getting yourself a, a domain so that you when you when you do put a link out there it's your domain it's not somebody else's it's not your abccompany.com here my link go join my because all you're doing is branding somebody else Okay, and, and so I don't. I, we will talk more about this. Believe me, because it's 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 a it's a big thing. Um, but I want to thank you for your time, and uh, we want to cut this off now. I will see you on the next video. Once again, please check out my my blog. Um, keep in mind the header that you see, which is the banner at the top, temporary. Okay, I've got I've got someone making a professional one for me now. It's going to really dress it up really nice. I'm excited about that. Um, but you'll see the sales funnel out there, sales funnel uh, up there on the blog. We just got it up, okay, which is, was kind of the, um, the last thing so that now we can really start driving some, some traffic to the, to the blog. Um, spent a lot of time doing that. And, and once again, something else that we'll be teaching. So thank you once again, and we will see you on the next video. Okay, have a great one. Bye.